Over the past decade, millions of dollars have been pumped into well-intentioned but failed projects in regional WA. Locals are frustrated that expensive buildings are sitting empty or underutilised due to poor planning or a lack of funds to keep them open. For years, these $4 million buildings have been empty, padlocked and unused on a back street in Derby as the weeds grow and the cobwebs spread. Well, it's not acceptable that there's empty buildings being, that are standing still that could be used for other projects. The accommodation complex was built by the state and federal governments in 2013 to house young Aboriginal people who were moving to Derby for apprenticeships or training. But it failed to attract enough people to be viable. After four years sitting empty, locals are lobbying for the local women's shelter or a youth service to be able to use the facility. It is a state government decision. They have to do their pro they have to go through their process, but we will keep on keep on advocating to try and get a better use out of those buildings if they're not being used. It's not the only expensive building going to waste. A few hundred kilometres down the highway, a $12 million aged care facility sits empty in the Aboriginal community of Warman. It won International Architecture Awards but has not operated in the six years since it was built. There is hope on the horizon. The WA government is spending half a million dollars fixing it up and getting it ready for use so that the Commonwealth can help set up the long-awaited residential care program. For locals, the waste and inefficiency is infuriating. It's difficult when you have an abandoned infrastructure. It's just not helpful to the community at all. I mean, it could be seen as a waste of dollars. That could have been put to good use. Experts say the main problems arise from rushed, politically driven decision making and a lack of communication between the three tiers of government. Regional centres are quite unique in their needs. They service different populations. So having a really comprehensive understanding of what the actual needs are uh, prior to moving ahead with any sort of investment or planning uh, is really, really important. In a statement, the WA government said it inherited a number of empty buildings from the previous government, as well as lavish community facilities that local governments couldn't afford to operate. It says it's working to remedy those situations and is prioritising essential infrastructure like hospitals and roads. Erin Park, ABC News, Broome.